Wesley. Hello, Hello. Colton. Hey, how, I'm eating a pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> I how have eaten a while. Where are you calling in from? I'm calling in from Connecticut. It's a little chilly at the chilly at the moment, so it feels on. I so I feel a bit uncomfortable wearing that t-shirt, but I felt that wearing this scarf is the mood as well. Hey, it looks great. So it's, it's very stylish. Nice. I'm cold, and I'm in LA. <laughs> it's not cold. <laughs> How are you cold if you're in LA? I don't know what is going on. It is so weird. I always, I, my hands and my feet are always frozen. Wow. And so, like, it's probably like 70 or something right now. And I'm like legit cold. <laughs> Holy shoot. Yeah, I wouldn't survive in Connecticut. I feel you. But I grew up in Kansas. So we had like, we had all the, all the seasons. And I dreaded every time winter would come around because it, it's like fucking cold like you know it, it gets it snows there um, oh gosh. and i just would dream of the day when i was like i'm getting the hell out of here and i'm going to where the sun is so in light of your mem in light of and in, in light of the news that you're writing your memoir i think memoir i think this could not be in a more appropriate mood yes okay. my book <laughs> yeah i mean it's definitely it's been a process. Um, yeah, it's definitely. I'll actually. I'll, I'll read you the the uh, dedication if you want. If you I want. Love, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, so I've only read it to like a couple people. So you're getting a little. You're getting a little sneak peek. It's super quick, but um, it really meant a lot to me because I'm. I am this person I'm talking about. So, okay. Um, to all the queer kids who long for love and attention. To the ones who break their own arm, if only to have somebody sign their cast. Know that you are deserving of love without pain. And to my beautiful mother, I look for you in every smoke signal I send, in every glance in the rear view, down every road I travel through. I will always love you. Aww. Yeah, and then it starts, and uh, just a, 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 a pre-warning, it's very, very dark. <laughs> it's a very emotional book. Um, and it was hell to write it. <laughs> But uh, I'm sorry. no, but now, but now I have something that I've never been more proud of. Like I really worked my ass off and, um, I mean, I was up until 7 AM this morning. I mean, every single day I'm up until like seven or eight in the morning. So, right. um, but I'm so proud of it. I'm super. So like, if you decide to get it, I'm like, really, I think it's going to resonate, um, with a lot of people. So I may consider it because because I was in a dark place for a couple of years. I'm gay and I've had seizures a couple, and I have a seizure disorder along with being on the autism spectrum. So there are days where I feel like I'm absolutely garbage. No, I'm on, I'm all, I don't have seizures, which I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, I'm also gay as you know, and I, I am on the spectrum. And so, so I, I have been, it's been something that is a little confusing to me because I've struggled with ADHD really bad. And so a lot of times they kind of can, um, my psychiatrist is saying that they can kind of confuse the two, but I have something where um, it, it's a little bit of both. So that's been a little confusing for me, dealing with a little of the kind of, I get manic sometimes and like, you know, dealing with my nerves and my anxiety, that's always been something that's been struggling. But um, right. yeah, I mean, I, Honestly, like, I'm sure you know this by now that there's so many people are also in, in your same position, which that it should make you feel better, but it's hard to when you're sitting in your feelings, you know what I mean? Right. It, ha it happens to me a lot. Yeah. I mean, I definitely, it's, I mean, hope, do you have like a good sense of community where, where you are? Like, do you have a lot of friends, like friends who are also? I, I live in a tiny community, a tiny community. So I rely heavily on online spaces like Discord in order to get that sense of solace, even though I can't always find it there too. That's the thing. That's, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I hope that you can, not saying like get out of your small town, but I mean, as long as you have those online spaces and but there's so many people who are going through what you're going through and I'm just happy that you've at least found some place for them. Thank you. And thank you very much for opening up about your struggles, even though it's not always easy. Uh, yeah, it's not been, it's, it's easier for me to open up about it than it is to keep it in any longer. So, um, oh crap, the timer.
But just a fair warning for the emotions in the book if you read it. All right. <laughs> Thank you.